Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Maroon Devil Coaches Show as we get to talk some Maroon Devil football with our head coach, Sherman Holt, and fans. It is it is the new time of the year. I mean, uh, it's playoff time, and, and I don't know about you, but it just it kind of gets you in that mood. You get you, Your heart starts racing a little better. You, you, you know, you, you just get that adrenaline going, and, and it's just a fun time of the year. It's a whole new season, and uh, boy, I tell you what, it's just uh, uh, you can't sit still with playoff time coming, but Coach, before we get talking about the playoffs, a game that I think really springboards our football team into the playoffs where we had a great second half last week up the road in Big Cove was uh, uh, just a great ball game against Cherokee last Friday. Yeah, you know, our kids, they uh, played real hard. We, we kind of, you know, had some things happen to us early in the game that kind of put us behind the eight ball. And, you know, we went in at halftime and I said, you know, there's, one, there's either one or two things you can do. You can either um, come out and fight and dig and scratch and claw and win this ball game or we can just go ahead and pack it up and go to the house. And our kids, uh, you know, they come out in the second half, played real hard, just tremendous effort and just the will to win uh, that ball game was just tremendous to watch our kids do that Friday night. Yeah, You know, we had an outstanding game. Uh, talk about the play of uh, Josiah Glasby. Uh, uh, he just uh, really had a huge ball game. I think his first game over 100 yards rushing uh, and also had some good plays on defense. And I know no, it wasn't just about him, but, but he really uh, stepped up and had a big game. Yeah, Joe, he uh, – He's a real good kid. He's very coachable. He does anything we ask him to do. And uh, he, he just uh, – he finally got to where we got him in a rhythm and on offense carrying the football. And, you know, he's a north and south runner, you know, and he's very explosive. Um, he was able to get out in the open a little bit and, you know, run away from them. And Joe, he's just a great kid. And, uh, you know, our offensive line blocked very well Friday, you know, and – it's not just those skill kids, the O-line, they've done a real good job blocking, you know, getting some holes and some running lanes open. But, uh, you know, Joe, he just had a real good game. It was just his night. He was on, and, uh, you know, we try to stick with a hot hand normally, and uh, Friday night was his night. Oh. So. No doubt. Uh, when you talk about some of those big guys up front, uh, you got to talk about uh, Ense Ufert. Uh, he, uh, you know, he played great on both sides of the line, but he really stood out on the defensive side. Coach, talk about his effort, and he just uh, brought that all night long. Yeah, Ense, he's done a real good job for us the last two or three weeks. Uh, we started playing him on defense against Hayesville a little bit, and, uh, you know, we – we kind of knew going into the season we wanted to get some guys in shape to go both ways. Early on, it's hard to do that. Later on, you you know you get them in game shape and say he uh, he's he's played sparingly defensively for some, but last three weeks I don't think he's come off the field and uh, he he's played real good defensively. He just has a knack for the football. He does. And uh, yeah. you sit there and you watch film and he just plays with tremendous effort and he's very physical. He uses his hands good defensively and uh, you know he made a bunch of plays Friday night you know in the backfield. You know it's hard for running backs, quarterbacks to get in a rhythm when, when you have a guy that's Six foot two, 235 pounds in your backfield. So, you know, Inside done a real good job Friday of disrupting some of their stuff that they like to do offensively. Yeah. Another guy who uh, really had a huge game, Blake saying uh, he's another guy that uh, brings a lot of intensity. He plays physical. He's not afraid to stick his nose in that A gap, so to speak. Talk about his play because he was in on so many tackles Friday, and especially that second half, which, which really, really uh, kind of turned the game into our favor in that second half. Yeah, Blake, he, he's our leader on defense. He calls all our defensive calls and makes sure we're lined up correctly up front and that the secondary knows what they got coverage-wise. And so Blake does a real good job for us that area. Um, but it was probably his best game of the year um, as far as defensively. He he just had he, – he was able to not get blocked. And that's what we tell our linebackers, you know, at the, at the linebacker level you have to be really good at – do not get blocked, you know, and if somebody comes at you, you can't stay blocked long. And uh, Blake does a real good job of that. And, you know, I've told people all year, Blake Sain's probably had the quietest, loudest year of any <laughs> linebacker I've ever coached. You know, he's never, like, going to make the 
spectacular, oh, wow plays, but he makes a lot of gritty, like you said, A and B gap plays that people don't see. You know, they don't stand out on the highlight reel, but you go back and you watch film and, you know, you see him just make plays after play after play inside those tackles. And uh, he, he's been a real good, solid football player for us this year defensively in the middle. Yeah. Coach, it was just one of those games. Uh, Got to give credit to Cherokee. They they played a great game. Uh, I tell you, Zoe, uh, their quarterback, is uh, uh, so athletic and so hard to stop. Calhoun played a great ball game. So, uh, and both both sides of the field were into the ball game. Our Maroon Devil crowd really got really got psyched up and and pumped up late in that game. So it was just uh, one of those games where both teams played their tails off. Yeah, you know, I told our kids going in starting on Monday that week that. You know, Cherokee's going to be a tough physical football team. They're going to play really, really hard just because of the rivalry, yeah. you know. And I, I told our kids, you know, I, I don't care what anybody says. When, you, when you've got a team that's about nine, ten miles down the road, we want to win. Yeah. You know, uh, we, we share some of those kids in Swain County. You know, they, they can go to Cherokee or they can come to Swain. And I told them, we, you know, we want to have the bragging rights. We want to have all the stuff we can have against our you know in county rival and uh, you know we kind of teamed uh, termed it as the swain county championship and you know our kids they stepped up they didn't want to lose that ball game and so uh, we had a lot of kids that rose to the occasion and just tremendous effort and just not necessarily uh, you know um, that cherokee did anything wrong you know our kids just played sh extremely hard their kids played extremely hard yeah. we just made more plays than they did in the in the end yeah. and so it was it was good for our kids you yeah. know very excited for them when we talk about Maroon Devil football coach last week, we talked about some of the individual efforts, you know, with with Blake and uh, uh, with Glassby and some of these kids who really played well, Ense, who really stepped up. Uh, talk about some great plays. We had some plays on offense that uh, I'm not sure we've seen this year. We pulled out some plays uh, uh, from the old trick eration playbook, so to speak, that uh, I'm not sure a, a Cherokee was ready for because they turned out to be really big plays on offense. Yeah, you know, hats off to, to Coach Cook. He done a real good job setting up some of those plays that we ran. And, you know, our kids during practice, we've ran some of those plays all year long, and we just hadn't ran them in a game. And, you know, they like to have a little fun. Yeah. And, um, you know, we had Josh Collins playing quarterback some. He threw a touchdown pass, completed a couple passes for two-point conversions. You know, just the – the I wouldn't necessarily say trickery, but just the uh, aspect of having to fend everything in our arsenal kind of helped us Friday. And, you know, we were able to run tall sweep a lot with Joe that we'd already talked about. And, you know, we knew they were going to be real aggressive. They're kind of an attack defense. Backside corner always likes to come up. And so when we run tall sweep reverse pass, you know, that's just something that we set up good. Coach Cook, I – I told him one time, I said, he said, I don't know if they'll fall for it again. I said, well, <laughs> run toss sweep three or four more times and they'll fall for it again. And luckily they did. You know, that's what won us the ball game. Um, but we, we just done a real good job executing on offense Friday. Uh, we only punted one time. It was the first drive of the game. And, uh, you know, they were kind of a little upset with me uh, for punting. Some of our kids was like, we can get it, but it's fourth and one. We're on the 29-yard line. You know, we get a short field. You know, I just – that was my call, and uh, I kind of, you know, that that's that's not a good spot to fake one, in right. my opinion. <laughs> um, but anyways, our kids done a real good job executing on offense. We took care of the football yes. Um, yes. real well and uh, just executed when your number's being called on all those plays that we ran – um, you know, we've done a little wildcat with Josh yeah. Collins, and, you know, Josh is just a really good football player for us. And I think Josh might be the only person in the SMC that has ran for a touchdown, caught a touchdown, and threw a touchdown. So, um, you know, he's a, he's a triple threat type of guy. So, but uh, offense played well, executed. I think we scored seven times, so that's pretty good. Yeah, he's the Christian McCaffrey, if you will, of, uh, of the Smoky Mountain Conference. And, Coach, that, that versatility really lends itself when you get into the playoffs because those guys, uh, they don't know us like some of the teams around here do, do they? Yeah, you know, you, 
you probably turn on our film from last week, and uh, I would say that uh, people that watch it are like, we got to defend a lot of stuff, a lot of formations, a lot of motions. Yeah. And uh, to be honest with you, we we very simple. We just try to set some things up, you know, that we do, and uh, it worked Friday night. No doubt. So. Coach, coming into this game, uh, we're playing Winston-Salem Prep. Uh, some people know some about these schools, some people don't. But uh, I think uh, one of the big aspects that uh, you really have to talk about is that entire conference. They call it the 1A-2A West A Conference, I believe, down there. But it's uh, uh, 1A-2A schools. But most of the schools in this conference are uh, preparatory. They're, uh, they're able to recruit, so to speak. They can draw players from anywhere they want to. They could bring a player from Swain County down there if they were so uh, inclined. So that really uh, changes the whole aspect of, of uh, the teams we're playing because obviously our Maroon Devils are, are not a prep school. So that, that really throws a different wrinkle into this playoff scheme, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, it's kind of uh, one of those things that you, as a public school, you want to represent other public schools very well when you play a prep school. And, you know, they um, – I don't want to say that they bend the rules or break the rules, but they can draw from a larger population than than uh, public schools can. You know, there's no district lines, but uh, I just know our kids are excited about the opportunity to play uh, Winston-Salem Prep and uh, showcase our brand of football, our style, Mountain mountain football yeah and that uh, I think that really brings the fans out I think our fans for years uh, going back into the 60s and 70s even have always taken a lot of pride in knowing that hey we play mountain football uh, we take pride in being tough and being physical we may not be the fastest we may not be the most athletic but when uh, kickoff time comes we're gonna hit you and our fans and our players uh, it's almost like we used to call it the mountain guys against the flatland so uh, I think we take a lot of pride in that. Yeah, you know, it's it's one of those things that our kids understand the tradition of mountain football and yeah. the aspect that it brings, especially in the 1A playoffs. You know, you, you think about over the last several decades of 1A football, how many state champions have come out of the SMC or even Western North Carolina, yeah. um, you know, and some other conferences. But, you know, our, our league is very decorated in making playoff runs. And, uh, you know, we told our kids Monday that uh, it's a new season. Everybody's 0-0. Yep. And this is kind of the time we live for uh, in the SMC and especially here at Swain County. You know, we, we can have the opportunity to play six more games. And, um, you know, that's crazy to think of, playing six more. But, uh, you know, that's going to be a good, uh, good road and journey if we can kind of stick it out and just keep you know, getting better and winning, you know, and we have the opportunity to do that Friday night. No doubt. And it's kind of like uh, the team that gets hot to, at, the, at the right point in the season can really go a long way. And, Coach, looking at Winston-Salem Prep, uh, looking at some of their film, uh, for our fans on Friday night, just remember the first seven numbers, literally, players that wear one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. They are the big playmakers on this football team, especially number three and number five. They're uh, uh, number three. Uh, Arion is uh, their leading kickoff return man. He's their leading receiver. Uh, he's a big 6'3", 220-pound kid that is so athletic. Their quarterback, of course, uh, uh, Jace, is, he's, a, he's a small kid, 126 pounds according to the roster, but he throws the ball well. He runs the ball well. And, Coach, this is a team blessed with speed and athleticism, and you can tell us more from seeing them on film as compared to just a roster. Yeah, you, you watch them on film and you you try to preach to our kids about limiting big plays. Right. Because you right. watch them on film and they get big play after big play after big play. And, you know, we're going to have to do a really good job defensively of tackling, rallying to the football, you know, uh, turning them back into the teeth of our defense, you know, using the sideline as a 12th defender. And then offensively it's going to be uh, – execution, ball control, and finishing drives with touchdowns because if, uh, if we can just sustain drives, keep the ball, you know, kind of play keep away a little bit, um, I think that is to our advantage as to Winston-Salem preps. But, um, you know, just got to 
be very disciplined uh, this week. Special teams, you know, they can uh, they can hurt us there if we're not careful. And so, just making sure you 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 play with discipline, play with the right angles, going to tackles and stuff. So it's going to be a good uh, challenge for our kids. And you know, we've probably not seen a team like this athletically this year. You know, we might have seen one or two players. But um, it's uh, it's going to be a good challenge for our kids. Coach, talking about that, uh, uh, obviously when they have that much speed and that much talent uh, that Winston-Salem Prep does, uh, uh, they're probably at some point of the game going to break a big play and, and score a big touchdown, whether special teams or just with their with their speed if they if they do turn that corner and get outside. What's uh, the mentality of the team after a big play like that to come back and kind of refocus, if you will, and uh, and keep playing hard? Well, we always tell our kids, you know, there's going to be things that happen that are not going to go in our favor in a game. It's happened every Friday. You know, how are we going to respond? You know, don't hang our heads. You know, it's the next play mentality. Pick our, pick our teammates up. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing I can, you know, for me just looking at it, um, for our kids, the, the biggest motivation is our fans. You know, they – they live and kind of feed off our fans' excitement, the crowd noise. You know, I want it to be uh, loud Friday night. I know our kids, they enjoy playing at home, and that was something – I think that's what kind of gritted us to that win last week was the opportunity to play a home playoff game, you know, because it's special. And, uh, you know, I know our kids, they deserve, uh, you know, our community to come out, support them. They've played hard. They've worked hard. You know, they had to go earn a home playoff game last week, and uh, they did that. And I ju I'm just looking forward to uh, it being packed at Memorial Stadium, Boy Steeds Field, being loud, you know, hostile environment because, you know, they they got to travel about three hours and 20 minutes. And so uh, that's a long bus ride. And when they get here, I want it to be full and loud and, you know, be, be hostile for them to play in and just our kids can feed off of that. Oh, no doubt. Fans, that's the way it is. Coach said it uh, better than we can is, uh, hey, we want our crowd to be here. Loud, proud. It's mountain-style football. It's playoff time. Let's get ready for these guys, the Phoenix from Winston-Salem Prep. They're coming to Swain County, and let's make it hostile for them. And stay with us right here on the Maroon Devils Network. Hello, viewers. My name is Audrey Zelenka, and I'm one of your student correspondents with the Maroon Devils Network. This channel was created in 2014, and since then we've had over 430,000 views, but more than 75% of those have been non-subscribers. Right now our channel has a little over 2,400 subscribers, but we want to reach a goal of 5,000. To help us do this, you can like, subscribe, and share our videos. Thank you for watching the Maroon Devils Network.